little uh, follow-up video to the last one with the monkey bars in the hallway. Well, this, this is my living room. <laughs> uh, I just wanted another thing that was a little different, do a couple different things on this bad boy that I can't, uh, the monkey bars, um, like swinging back and forth. Can't do that, I'll hit the wall. Um, yeah, it's fun. Boom. Boom. I was like, Michelle, can I hang like a weird bar in the middle of the living room? And she was like, only if I can hang a hammock swing from it. Shaboom! There you have it, folks. So, besides my climbing things, I also have a floor that's wide open so we can move whichever which way we like. I've got my, uh, my nugget couch, mats. We've got our big jujitsu mats. We pull that out and they do their jujitsu thing. I don't do that, not yet. Maybe soon. Um, <laughs> We got all our mats we lay on the floor when we want to lay down, watch TV. It's all floor, floor, floor. Why is that? It's because we have to get down and get up and use our body, our muscles, movements, natural human movement. Is it making sense yet? You don't have to go to the gym and do these weird repetitions. You know, exercise is cool when you wanna like, you know, work on correcting something or fixing something because our modern world just destroys our body. But <laughs> natural movement, you know, all day, all the time, like the animals, the squirrels, up and down the tree, the birds, the rabbits, you know, they're just, they're, they're fit and strong and healthy because they are moving the way they're supposed to move. In the gym, not how you're supposed to move. It's fucking stupid and nobody likes it. Well, I mean, some people do, but it's a very, very small part of the population that actually enjoys that sport. Um, the rest of us, however, can simply <laughs> move our bodies in all the ways that we are supposed to. I've got my toe spreaders on. I've got to spread the toes. Years of being squished in shoes that weren't even foot shaped. What the fuck was that about? Really hope that um, somebody out there, at least one person, one person is like, oh shit, this is it. Especially if any of you like just moved into a house or an apartment and you don't have any furniture, you're ready to go. You're ready to go. I actually knew someone who recently moved in somewhere and they were complaining about how empty it is. They're like, it's empty space, I gotta fill it with furniture. I need little end tables and little little bench here and of course like couch and chair and blah, blah. Why? Why? Why is because of the pressure of society and our crazy delusions. It's why people have front lawns. What purpose does that serve? What is that? Do you know what that's from? That's from like colonial times when the rich people would be like, hey, look at me. I'm so rich and such a piece of shit that I can just grow all this grass, no food, I don't need anything. I could just waste all this land, you stupid peasants. That's what lawns are. That's where it comes from. But y'all are still falling for it and putting all this time and effort in a, what, it's, what, what?
I'm sorry, I'm feeling a little crazy today. I'm just really like, oh, looking at our world and going, what the fuck are we all doing? I don't even know where I'm going with this. Just do whatever the fuck you want.